Welcome to Faith Comes By Hearing's October Update, honoring those who will at last have the opportunity to hear God's Word in their heart language. Because of your work, because of your commitment, and because of your passion, more lives are transformed to the glory of Christ. Each audio Bible created and released for access represents thousands upon thousands of people worldwide. We are counting down to 2033 with the release of new languages and ultimately to the time when every person on earth can hear Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Welcome to The Update. Good morning to our friends in Albuquerque and good afternoon and good evening to our friends all around the world joining us this morning for the update. My very first morning meeting that I attended as a new employee at Faith Comes by Hearing was a language launch celebration. I remember sitting up front here in Albuquerque, sitting next to Lori Koch, and she said to me, this is my favorite meeting of the month. And it's still a wonderful meeting and I love it. So glad to be here. My name is Dave Parton and I get to lead our global partnerships department, which is where I met my good friend here. I'm Gordon Fittis. I'm a global shipping coordinator for Faith Comes by Hearing. Awesome. Many of you all know this proclaimer, all of you know this proclaimer, and all of you know this proclaimer, but many of you don't know these two little guys that we're going to introduce to you this morning for the very first time. So this little bitty guy right here, we're calling the E10. E because electric, it's got USB Type-C charging, and it doesn't have a solar panel on it at all. There's no solar on there. What we're finding is that especially post-COVID, groups are meeting in smaller and smaller groups, and many people don't need that solar that we use out in the villages with so many communities who have no access to power. But where we have access to power, we're able to save that cost and use that to produce even more audio Bibles. Next, we have the S25. This, again, very small device will easily play for a group of about 25 people inside or outside. It's got a very robust speaker. And of course, this solar panel, which will charge it in a very short amount of time and will help for continuous play outside. Then you all know our mid-size proclaimer, which we're calling now the S50. Again, plays for about a group of 50. And uh, this has been known and loved by most of our teams all around the world. And it's doing great. It's not going anywhere. And of course, the big guy, the S100, easily plays for a group of 100. And many of you friends know that this will play for even five or 600 or more, right? All of these devices have this great little audio out port. So it doesn't matter if you have this big one or this little bitty guy, these will play even in a crusade environment if you hook it up to a set of speakers for as many people as can gather under those speakers. That's fantastic. Now, let's take a listen to our first set of languages being released, which are going to play on these devices. On Machada. Bete de Garcia Adivasi. Anesari Daratak Ayesu Eme Nululia Tuyemwa Ikoso Echi Katunu Yodani Laku Chisusi Chuatanimin Utilak Tilu Inuktatut Eastern Canadian Timin Ilum Maktausimaluni So good to hear those languages are now released to the people that need them the most. Well, we talked about these devices and you know what we have coming to the field, but how do they even get to the field? Gordon, can you clue us in? Sure. What some people think is that it's very simple. Just make the order and shazam, it comes like that. And what we uh, found is that in reality, we have to go through customs processes that include commercial invoices, packing lists, uh, certificates of origin, and there's a number of other documents also that are involved to get it through customs. And what I'd like to do is uh, take you and show you uh, some of the things that are done as well as the warehouse where things are put together. So join me. Okay, I'm gonna stop by with my uh, teammates and see if we have anything that needs to go to the warehouse as long as I'm going there. Heather, do you have anything to go to the warehouse? I do. Thank, Thank you. you 
Becky, do you have anything for the warehouse? Yes, I do. Thank you. All right, we'll see you. We made it here. Okay, uh, we got uh, five pallets here. They're going to Malawi. And uh, I wanna show you some of the paperwork that's involved to get it ready to go. And the first, uh, first thing we have here is a sheet that the warehouse does. They let us know the weights and dimensions of the pallet because we can't submit any paperwork till we know that. Next thing is we, then we take that information, we give it to our carrier who sends us an estimate for shipping these five pallets. And then we prepare the real paperwork. This is what Customs is gonna look at. And what we do is we let Customs know what's in, what's in the shipment and then uh, where it's going, who's gonna receive it. This one has a clearing agent. All that information is on here. Without this information, uh, Customs will not clear the shipment. But you can't just stop with that. You'd have to have a packing list. And the packing list is another way to say what's on the shipment and where it's going. And those are all required for every country. Anything, even if you're shipping one uh, micro SD card, that's, you have to have all that information. If you're going overseas or uh, across even to Canada or Mexico. Then the other thing we do is we uh, have a donation certificate prepared. Jerry signs almost every single one of them. One of our um, executive uh, uh, board members signs, signs them. And then they have to be notarized. And for most countries, that's sufficient. But for some countries, they require us to get an apostoly. That means we send proof that the person who notarized it is a notary from the Secretary of State. That's some countries require that. And then the last thing we do is we prepare a uh, pallet label. It'll go on the side of the pallet. So the uh, pallets will all be labeled. All four sides get labeled on the pallet because all the paperwork could get lost, but at least the pallet label will be on there to say this belongs to, in this case, the Evangelical Association of Malawi. Now, if we were shipping ocean, we'd also have to prepare a performa invoice. So uh, you, you think that's it, but some countries require a certificate of origin. And uh, this one does not require it, but sometimes we have to do that. And then some countries require that everything be stamped original. And so that's even more stuff. And so we have to send for Ethiopia, we have to send things where it's stamped original and copy. And it's just the paperwork goes on and on. And then once the pallet is all wrapped and ready, then we have another uh, piece of paper. And this is for the truck driver when he comes to pick up the pallets. This is what he does. Is, uh, he'll sign this and then it's good to go. It's out the door and on the way to, in this case, Malawi. So let's head on back to Dave because uh, we don't want to keep him waiting too long. Wow, Gordon, that was really interesting to see all that goes into getting these proclaimers overseas. And I have no idea how you made it all the way down there and back here so quickly. Flash, Gordon. Let's listen to our next block of languages that were released just this month. Pieno di Spirito Santo, si allontanò dalla regione del Giordano. Italian. Poi, sempre sotto l'azione dello Spirito Santo, si allontanò dalla regione dello Spirito Santo. Motu. Jesus Espíritu Santo tenu herhebe oye usir bajordandi nandeva ana Espíritu Santo rajasu 
I just love these updates. I love hearing these languages read out and I don't understand any of what's being said, but I know that God's word is going forth. That's right. Yeah. One of the next languages that we're going to get to hear is from Central Subanan. And we actually have a testimony from that that I'd like to read you now. Rico was the reader for John, but his walk with the Lord was not strong. And I, I'm disappointed that this doesn't go on to continue to rhyme, but it does say, Rico's older son had just been released from the hospital and was in the studio so that the recording team prayed for his complete healing. The next day, Rico reported that his son was feeling much better and said that he noticed an improvement in his condition from the moment that the FCBH team prayed for him. Because of that, Rico renewed his commitment to serving God together with his family. He was so thankful for this recording because it opened the way for him to recommit his life to the Lord, which is something that he hadn't expected to happen just by participating as a reader. That's a great story. And it's really neat to hear how God is working through his word and through those who are recording his word. Now let's listen to our next blocks of languages. Isus se ispunjen svetim duhom vratio sa Jordana. Serbian. I duh ga je vodio po pustinji. Minuli gnat di Tukubig, Jordan. Mi puno na nubalakat. Subanen, Central. Iwit dayon si Isus nubalak. Isu Yerdan nadia se pavitra atma se bharo bholot. Daru Rana. Bo pavitra at. Satana sin, Jesus iria wanihik tashumawain. Yano mami ninam. Chefusa ehela pen. Nangwa za giso, ika de tanga kura ya ya. Yeyi. Pali heja le awatu, delukuru, galu. It is so good to hear these languages spoken in this launch. I love it. And not only are these languages going to be available on our proclaimers, but many of them are being put right now into app form and are going to be produced into gospel films. So for our stats, for our, for our language launch this month, Faith Comes by Hearing now provides scripture recordings in 16 new languages, bringing us to a grand total of 1,894. Furthermore, Faith Comes by Hearing adapted gospel films in 16 new languages this month, bringing the total to 1,365. That is awesome to hear. Now let's wrap up by watching a brand newly released gospel film in Moni from Indonesia. Data dega iya ge digi toga mene parisi mene nema mene dange hajido de oma endata bogapa kibia mene nema digi ge biga do de yesi awapa mapuagi ogoti sabatia pi mene ae ende indite tawano ta uiti saitama ogo ewaga tugi This is exciting. Yes. To be participating in this. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for making it possible for us to be here at this time in history for the Great Commission and being able to see it fulfilled before our very eyes in ways that no one could have imagined even a hundred years ago. We ask that you would please bless those who are recording, translating, producing, and sending your word out to the uttermost part of the earth. We ask that you would please uh, Bless this time together and praise your name for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for the update. We'll see you again next month. <laughs>